Hello everyone. We are doing the ninth uh, training session for the continuing profession development. Again, it's free of charge for all those who are in group number one to group number twenty as well. Since there are uh, ten, fifteen people who have uh, already signed up for the group number twenty, I will issue the certificate. But you have to attend the whole training session, the whole two hours of it. So, what this training session is about? It's about artificial intelligence in transition monitoring. Uh, uh, your there will be jobs, you know, after the. the appraisal cycle or appraisal uh, you know period uh, in banks there will be uh, tra- uh, you know some hiring from march uh, month of march to month of june the 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 take the, the, the multiple you know uh, uh, tra- your interviews from different hierarchies and so on so i want you to you know to mention uh, things that we're going to discuss in our training center we able to impress the purpose is to that you you know you are able to impress your employer so that if you are able to impress things that uh, i you know this sort of information uh, that is uh, that is uh, expected to uh, uh, implement in uh, in future in transition monitoring this will help you to get the job that you want because so we're going to discuss that how future alerts can be predicted using some training the data which is called machine learning but i'm going to help you understand you know how our artificial intelligence using automated tool will be you know uh, uh, not through case uh, case studies or hands on experience just through verbally theoretically that is expected or some experience that i have and how alerts can be auto li- or auto close or suppress after they are generated using artificial intelligence and what is the guidance that the uh, wolf group basically should last year Uh, about uh, the financial institution they are supposed to do when they are uh, you know using artificial intelligence using an automated tool in transition monitoring so we're going to do uh, do that is a, a, a short training session so kindly join it uh, live recording will not be shared you have to you know attend it live it's on saturday 14th of january uh, is the uh, the eighth one was uh, to discuss the final rule of uh, uh, regarding beneficial ownership we then we previously the on seventh one we discuss about npo ngo uh, the case study that uh, you all need to have one case study in order to you know uh, impress your employer uh, previously we discussed on october 1 the sixth we discussed behavior detection and how alerts are generated the fifth one was about uh, how to identify the beneficial owner uh of an entity there were uh, some you know uh, public registers and so on that our financial action task force were basically recommended before that we were discussing that how alert are supposed to be reviewed uh, using microsoft excel and so on so we've done this is the ninth one uh, so kindly join on time and the purpose this is not full flesh uh, uh, the implementation of it is not going to be very soon in next one or two years it's going to be it's going to take time but uh, if you know few things that are expected uh, uh, in future for you to know in the next 5 years but you're going to know more th- before you know 5 years this will help you to impress your employer that you are up to date with how your expectations are for transition monitoring to work when automated tools the software the transition monitoring system will be advanced enough to be having the artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning so see you on 14th of january uh, on saturday have a good day take care